To be honest, the majority of my motivation to sort of one week work on photographic things and then work on film and, you know, paint and draw and write, like I, I feel quite unlimited. That comes from perhaps not necessarily seeing myself in traditional kind of art world, you know, spaces. I'm already on the outskirts in some way, so I may as well continue to do that. My name is Atunga Tem and I'm a visual artist and most of my work incorporates portraiture, self-portraiture and I like to use, I suppose, colour and texture and all this sort of interesting, intricate stuff to create narratives about my own history and just about, I guess, history in general. My own personal history that informs the stories that I talk about in my art practice my, mainly sort of centres on like being a migrant and my own sort of experience with um, how I relate to place and spaces and also my interest in my own personal familial history as a South Sudanese person whose access to, I guess, broader South Sudanese history is pretty limited. So it's a little bit of myth making as well as like un unveiling. So the work that I have in the Handmade Universe um, exhibition is a couple of self-portraits, which uh, were made through a process of printing portraits, cutting them up into little strips and then weaving them together. So the portraits are sort of made of multiple kind of portraits. For me, it was really important as a predominantly digital photographer, I really wanted to explore um, having a more tactile relationship to the work that I make because I haven't really had a chance to do that in a while. But it was also this thing about, you know, my interest in, in, in layering and the layers of like history and meaning and, you know, mythology and, you know, family and all that stuff and having like a really um, sort of symbolic relationship to that unearthing and that layering and that creating. The process of making these particular works was a lot less simple than I had anticipated. Accepting that slowness, I, I suppose like that's what I wanted. I wanted to make works that weren't immediate, that weren't digital, that weren't just about pixels that you know magically appear on the screen. And the thing that I'd forgotten after so many years of doing digital work is that that takes time. Tedious, but totally worth it. Having my work in this exhibition and it being in a public space in you know the State Library means a lot to me because I think my relationship to art in general has been one of kind of existing in sometimes anyway existing in the, the, the sidelines or like the outskirts or whatever. So for me, as someone who is making work that is like very sentimental but also comes from a place where um, maybe the European art canon hasn't really focused on you know South Sudanese art, I think it's really like amazing to have an opportunity or to have as many opportunities as possible to showcase my work to people who have maybe been convinced that there's no space for them within art because yeah it's not exclusive at all and it shouldn't be.